So you're thinking about moving to Pensacola, Florida. Well, in this video, we're gonna do a full map tour, and I'm gonna show you guys the city and the surrounding areas. And stay tuned to the end, because I'm also gonna cover a couple neighboring uh, cities and towns that you might wanna consider as well that aren't far away. But hopefully in this video, you'll figure out where you wanna live or invest or settle down and raise your family. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay guys, let's go ahead and jump into the full city and map tour and breakdown so that you can have an edge on where you wanna live and be above the competition. So let's start with Pensacola as a whole. We are bordering the Emerald Coast here, some of the best beaches in the country, and that's what makes Pensacola so sought after. But let's start downtown. This has to honestly probably rival the beaches as the next best thing about Pensacola is an awesome, incredible downtown. Rich with history and charm, this is actually America's first settlement that was proved a few years back with some carbon dating of some new artifacts that were found. And this is South Palafox Street. This is the heart of downtown Pensacola. And I was just actually in front of Jacko's Seafood Bar and Grill and also the marina downtown. We actually just added a brand new marina over here at the Blue Wahoo Stadium and the Community Maritime Park. And this is a public um, marina, so it's a first come first serve basis, currently free parking. Pretty neat little addition to the city. But South Palafox Street is just, it's really well done. It's a centralized downtown location. I mean, you can park your car, you can take a bike there, and it's just for blocks and blocks and blocks, as you can see. There are a ton of coffee shops, so much delicious good food. There are galleries, there are museums downtown, you have boutique shopping, just everything you could want in a downtown. I mean, you could be busy for half the day. There's ice cream shops. It's just so much to do there. And we also have a lot of parades that go on down here and festivals. Uh, about once a month, we have what's called gallery night, which is really fun. They actually block off the whole street. You can walk around. There's live music. All the galleries are actually open. There are a whole bunch of breweries and bars, and it's just really fun. Um, it can be more kid-friendly kind of in the evening hours, and then later into the evening, it becomes kind of a party, and it's just a good time. So, And we also have the South Palafox Farmer's Market pretty much every weekend on Saturdays. Again, it's for blocks and blocks and blocks. And they actually just added 40 new vendors to it. It already was huge. Um, really good time. You should definitely go check that out. Just fun to be a part of the community and get outdoors. It just feels like there's never short of things to do going on. But around downtown, you're going to see that the housing kind of is relative to that. So the pricing is going to be higher because of that location desirability. A few of these neighborhoods and surrounding areas. You've got the Seville Historic District here and also Aragon. Both of these are going to be a little bit pricier. Seville is kind of mixed commercial residential, allows Airbnbs. And then you have Aragon, which is more of a neighborhood, um, real Charleston style southern homes. Price points in there are going to be starting in about the high 600s, 700s, and they go up from there. Uh, depends on the square footage and the size of the house. You have Veterans Memorial Park here, pays tributes to the veterans, pretty neat. And again, this is all following the bay here. Uh, Muscogee Wharf is a really high-end kind of luxury neighborhood that sticks out. Only about eight or nine homes currently. There's a few lots to be built. but um, And then over here to the left, this is going to be kind of uh, a very growing area. Um, Prices are just shooting up. I've added a bunch of townhomes recently down here. You've got some luxury condos going up. Um, this is what we call Belmont de Villers. Again, also kind of a growing area. A lot of new construction, a lot of homes being renovated. Still somewhat of a bargain, to be honest. The east side of Pensacola dead ends right here along Tahar Bayou. And this is kind of the expensive area all up in here. And this area is just growing tremendously. A lot of appreciation going on in here. And relatively just as close to downtown. Um, prices in here are going to be in the three and four hundreds. Kind of go up from there into the fives and six. And same down here. Um, Joe Patty Seafood, by the way, 
really cool seafood place. Um, it's actually like a market. you got to go in there, super authentic, fresh seafood. And Sanders Beach is being remodeled right now. It's going to be a public beach on the bay. It's not quite like Pensacola Beach, but it'll be a fun place downtown. If we go up just a little bit here, this is what's called North Hill. And this is a very south, uh, not southern, this is a very historic neighborhood. Tons of Victorian homes in here. Uh, prices in here going to be in the six and seven hundreds and really large homes. I mean, there's 4,000 square foot homes in here, so you can go over a million in here, but probably around the average seven, eight, nine hundred thousand. Large homes, a lot of history, and there's a couple parks in here as well. And over here, this whole area here is called East Hill. Um, one of the most sought after neighborhoods in all of Pensacola, just because of the community aspect. Um, very eclectic housing in here. Again, a lot of historic homes that have been totally renovated, but there's also new construction in here as well. There's no HOA, there's no rules, you can Airbnb in here, but there is a neighborhood association that kind of is uh, credited for making it such a community-friendly neighborhood. There's sidewalks throughout. There's about 13 parks, um, including Bayview Park down here, which is awesome. Uh, a couple dog parks, trails, tennis courts, and it's on the water again. You can rent kayaks. There's a couple public boat ramps. Um, there's some baseball fields in here, basketball courts. I mean, just an incredible neighborhood here, and it, and it brings that... Um, price point as well. I mean, you're looking in the 400s typically, and then into the fives and the sixes, but some of these homes here along the water on Tahar Bayou, you're going to have docks and waterfront views. You can go into the Gulf and over to Pensacola Beach. Those are going to be typically over a million dollars. Those are some of the, the other most expensive homes in Pensacola. Actually had a record sale for 4.7 million on Tahar Bayou last year. Um, but let's zoom out just a little bit. By the way, over here, following the what we call the bluffs and the train tracks, this is going to be some other really desired areas. Right over here is Scenic Heights. Um, <clears throat> kind of borders East Hill. This is a super tiny bridge, so I mean, if you can't get a grasp, this is just a couple minutes from right here. Um, but really nice area as well along the water. And coming up here, You've got some really nice neighborhoods as well, all up and down the bluffs. Um, this is the airport here, as you can see. And you've got a couple major hospitals. So right here is Sacred Heart Memorial Hospital. Um, it's kind of the centralized hospital, I would say, closest to downtown. And it's also right next to the Cordova Mall. And next to Cordova Mall is Cordova Park Neighborhood. Again, another really desired neighborhood. Um, you have the Cordova Elementary School. It's one of the main reasons people seek it out. Got some parks in there. Uh, just again, another kind of sought after, family friendly neighborhood. And throughout here, there are tons of neighborhoods. Um, the closer and further north you get, you're actually gonna be coming up to the University of West Florida, the college here. And you also have West Florida Hospital. Up here, you're going to have competition with the students. Uh, tons of bike trails. There are actually hundreds of miles of bike trails up here. So really neat um, around the University of West Florida if you have students and whatnot. And the neat thing about Pensacola is you have direct access to all the interstates pretty much wherever you are. So you can jump on those and get around town pretty quickly from all the way up here to the heart of Pensacola downtown. I mean, on the interstate, you're looking at like maybe 15 minutes, give or take. Uh, but let's jump over here. West Pensacola is gonna be kind of the cheaper side of town. Um, it has somewhat of a reputation as you know being maybe less desirable, but it's a, just more hit or miss, I would say. There are some really nice neighborhoods in here as well. You just have a brand new Aldi grocery store opened up got Walmart over here, Lowe's, Chick-fil-A, Home Depot, etc. But price points in here are going to be much more reasonable, starting in the 200s, even possibly in the high, you know, 180, 190 is achievable in this area. And if you zoom out just a little bit and we start going further west, 
is we're going to have the Naval Aviation. This is NAS. So if you're part of the Navy the military, maybe you're relocating here, that's over here. And this is also home to the Blue Angels, which are absolutely loved here and cherished. They do flyovers on the beach. You can hear them practicing during the day. They'll never practice at night, so you don't have to worry about that too much. But um, the Navy base is big. And you actually have the Navy Museum, which is free to the public. Really impressive. Um, awesome for kids and adults. You can see a ton of old planes and helicopters. And again, sometimes actually catch the live practices for the Blue Angels. You also have the Pensacola Lighthouse on base, uh, which is neat. You can go up in it. It is public. And the further west you get, we're going to be sliding over towards what's called Perdido Key. And this is kind of its own individual beach, but this is a part of Pensacola technically. Even though from here to downtown Pensacola, you're about 35 minutes away, maybe even 40 minutes, depending on traffic. Uh, this is part of Escambia County. Some people do love to live here. Right along this strip here, of course, is very touristy. You've got condos and beach homes and some stunning beach access right on the Gulf. Um, but there are some established neighborhoods in here as well, very close by. Interarity Point is very desirable, some beautiful homes. Uh, the per Perdido Bay Golf Course and neighborhood here is, again, another sought-after area. You have Lost Key Homes uh, and the Lost Key Golf Course right along here. That's a really cool kind of gated community. has one week minimal rentals, so you do have some people that live there full-time. But again, this area is much more touristy. But just over this super tiny bridge here, you can barely see it, is kind of more of the town. More residents in here, and a lot of people kind of retire and love this area. Big Lagoon State Park, really awesome state park with tons of trails. Again, boat access, RV and camping. Um, and that's Perdido Key. So, again, very sought after. Military base is kind of right here in the middle. This is what we call Warrington. Um, and you actually have the Pensacola Golf Course over here. And again, some more waterfront homes. Obviously, you can see there's a lot of waterfront access. There's some really spectacular homes around the Pensacola Country Club. But let's zoom out a little bit more. And by the way, you come across what we call the Three Mile Bridge. And this is Gulf Breeze. Um, this is actually Santa Rosa County. It's kind of a little strange, the layout here because this is Pensacola Beach, which is a part of Escambia County, part of Pensacola, Pensacola Beach. So this Gulf Breeze beach town separates these two. It's very short. Um, if traffic's not that bad from downtown Pensacola to Pensacola Beach is only 15 minutes away. On the weekends and the summers, that can maybe be 20, 25 at the very most probably. Um, but Gulf Breeze is also very desirable. This is what we call Gulf Breeze proper got some really great school zones in here um, a lot of housing and neighborhoods some parks shoreline park is a really good one dog parks beach access and this is the Gulf Island National Seashore in here um, again more trails and this breaks up Gulf Breeze this again is called what we call Gulf Breeze proper and then over here is what we call Midway Tiger Point it's a really nice neighborhood also on a golf course um, but on the water as well Oriole Beach, you have Soundside Drive all up in here, and you just kind of keep going. There are so many neighborhoods throughout Gulf Breeze, so this is a very desired area. A lot of people that potentially even work in Pensacola will decide to live or raise their family in Gulf Breeze. But let's zoom out a little bit. Pensacola Beach, very touristy. Um, you got condos, you got beach houses, a lot of rentals. You get a ton of traffic, obviously. But Pensacola Beach is special. It is probably the number one reason why Pensacola Beach is on the map, or Pensacola in general, because it's just one of the best beaches in Florida and in the country. So much to do here, so much fun. But one of the things I enjoy about living in Pensacola, I live in East Hill myself, and it kind of feels separated. So this feels like a city and a town with community and some of the best beaches in the country are just a few minutes away, but it is separated. So, and some people love to live here too. There, there are plenty of full-time residents, but 
this comes with all the tourism so it's nice to have that just to hop and a skip away and let's kind of keep looking into the city you come up um, north this is one of the fastest growing suburbs in Pensacola called Beulah tons of new construction up here um, I mean just in the last five years it's grown like crazy and a lot of that has to do with the uh, Navy Federal Credit Union it's the largest employer in the state of Florida or one of them and it's the largest employer in Pensacola because of that there are so many new subdivisions being built up here you've got Kahili Ridge Deer Run Falls Chase um, all these are new construction homes a lot of builders like DR Horton you have DSLD um, Trulin Homes I mean there's just so many up here and the price points are going to be starting in the mid 200s about 250 and they go into the threes and the 400s and you've got all kinds of options so I mean if you like new construction you're willing to live 20 minutes away give or take this is going to be a good area to consider um, you also have some established neighborhoods as well nature trail really desired gated community with trails that's coined the name um, community pool tennis all kinds of things and that's up here and it's kind of just under what we call cantonment so this area is also incredibly fast growing cantonment is a part of Escambia County it's technically Pensacola but it's another suburb one of the fastest growing suburbs as well just this whole area in general uh, there's a brand new subdivision called Iron Rock up here with over 290 lots available several different builders in there and just a plethora of amenities that is a neighborhood you might want to consider if you are willing to kind of live just a little bit further north and not necessarily care about living downtown again price points in that neighborhood probably in the mid 300s and guys if you want any information if you want me to send you any of these homes or whatnot feel free to reach out happy to assist um, but this is going to be again kind of the more affordable but nice new established areas um, and then let's talk about some surrounding areas okay you have pace and milton these are very desirable as well pace has just exploded in the last few years this is a different city this is not a part of pensacola this is santa rosa county and it's sought after for similar reasons with gulf breeze um, the school zones a lot of people sometimes choose to live in gulf breeze or pace because some of the school zones can be better than some of the neighborhoods and areas in Pensacola but you're still not that far away pace has also exploded as well um, you've got everything you would need of course Starbucks Chick-fil-a Lowe's Walmart Publix everything's in here it's grown like crazy and there's a lot of new construction and affordable housing um, Milton has kind of been established a little bit longer a much larger and um, can kind of have maybe more of a country feel depending on where you are but they also have a really charming cute downtown as well bakery shops um, some good food and you're kind of you're along the Blackwater River here um, kind of the bay and the bayou and this is also kind of all considered Milton as well way down here um, there's a second bridge here called Garcon Point which connects you back to Gulf Breeze but that's somewhere you might want to consider Milton, Pace, Gulf Breeze are surrounding areas. But Perdido Key, very desirable. Pensacola Beach, both these beaches are about on par. I would say there's more to do as far as amenities in Pensacola Beach. Put Put Golf and go karts and restaurants. Uh, Perdido Key is a little bit more laid back. I mean, it's still growing like crazy, but you don't have as many of those tourist things. There's no Put Put Golf and whatnot, but you are only moments away from Orange Beach and Gulf Shores which definitely have a lot more of those so honestly Pensacola has so much to offer such a growing city I mean Florida in general just has a tremendous amount of growth coming into it but we're kind of a best-kept secret I mean the price of housing in Pensacola in a beach town city is relatively affordable when you compare it to some bigger markets like Tampa anywhere down south practically obviously Miami um, Sarasota all those areas Pensacola is a bargain 
and just has so much charm, rich history. And um, yeah, we're kind of popping up on the map. So if you're considering moving here, please reach out. I run a small team. My name is Levi Fortner. I'm with LPT Realty and I run the Fortner Group. And um, we move, help people move here all the time that are relocating. So I would be happy to do that. Give me a call, text, or an email. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Eat, Sleep, Play in Pensacola and the Emerald Coast, subscribe to the channel. We put out content all the time that's going to keep you atop of the competition, just give you an edge, and also let you know what's going on, what there is fun to do right here on the Gulf Coast and the Emerald Coast of Florida. Until then, guys, I hope this was helpful in your journey. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.